hello guys welcome to solving solutions on bond channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to use um, python to carry out coordinate conversion now on our previous um, tutorial we have shown you how to install some python modules right good so those modules will help you when you're carrying out different analysis now we have the we have the default idea here where the code is written However, on QGIS, we also have what the Python console, right? Good. So that is where we are going to run our code on today's tutorial. However, the code is also rightly on the IDL here. So now on this um, code, we have identified three points that cut across the three UTM zones that are inside of Nigeria. So we have the UTM zone Lokito here, and then you can see the Oyo State in 31, River State in 32. And then may do green what 33 right good so now we want to use python to convert these coordinates and then we also have their coordinates so if we right click and okay it's already opened here we also have their coordinates in what in latitude and longitude right good so in longitude and latitude so we want to convert these coordinates in longitude and latitude to their corresponding coordinates in what in eastern and northern right good then after which we are now going to validate whatever um results we get from the conversion so we have written a few codes here where we said from pyproj import transformer now the um the pyproj is like um, the module and then transformer is the class that is being imported from what the pyproj right good so it's just like a um, python projection right good so it helps it's a library that helps for coordinate transformations generally so from there we have imported what the transformer which is used to convert different um, coordinate systems convert from different coordinate systems then we have commented that we want to define the transformers for the three utm zones so let's see how we can make this good so we want to define the transformers for the three utm zones right good so for zone 31 we have this this um, epsg code is constant for what the um, geographic coordinates right good so we have the epsg code for the geographic coordinates and that of the projected so if you can see 4326 that's for the geographic and then 32631 that's for the projected zone 31 zone 32 and zone 33 right good so you can see it utm zone 31 utm zone 32 and then utm zone 33 right good so these are what the transformers for the three zones that are in nigeria then we now try to maybe load the geographic coordinates that we want to convert so we have one in oil state we have one in river state and we have one in Medugri, right good so these are their coordinates in longitude and latitude so we have the values there right good so what we want to output is to convert these coordinates to utm which will now be in a projected system right so that's where we now have the x of oil comma the y of oil will now be the transformer performing the transformation on the um coordinates that we have stored in what in oil state which is this line here same thing happens to the one we have stored in river state which is this other line and then finally that of uh, medugri which is this other line right good so now these are just the syntaxes or the models that python will use to um, apply the to perform the conversion process right good so having done that we are now going to print our result. So now this F you see there is a formatting tool, right? Good. It's used to format the output string. So at this point, okay, we have two F, which means the result should be to two decimal places, right? Good. So this is like a formatting tool. So having converted the coordinates to UTM from the imputed longitude and latitude coordinate, our output in zone 31, zone 32, zone 33 of the UTM should be formatted to what? two decimal places right good so the x of oil will be stored here the y of oil will be stored here similarly for reverse and for medugra so having fixed all of this on this qgis python console you don't necessarily need to save before it will run so you can just click on run then when you do the result will be outputted so let's try to also stretch this part so we have the oil utm zone 31 coordinate to be this the reverse state coordinate to be this and then the medu grade coordinate to be this right good so now we are going to validate our answer how do we validate the answer there are different methods but i would want us to use them um, google it good so we have finally loaded those three points and then you can rightly see one in medu gray one in a badon which is oil and then one in Port Harcourt, which is river state so this is for 
that of um, on your state so if we right click and then we come to the properties we are going to see the zone which is um, zone 31 and then we are also going to see the coordinates so if we come back to our QGIS if you now check the values you will see that the coordinates are actually the same right good so we have 604795.15 and then we also have 604795.15 similarly for the nothings we have 867044 and then we also have what um, 867044 right good so these are the two coordinates if we come to that of the zone 32 we can still come back to our google it zone 32 is the second one so we confirm is that yes that is it so if we open up the attributes or maybe the properties rather then we are going to see the coordinates so we have 276214 so let's see we have 276214 this is it then 530697 so this now validates what our result that the output we have gotten from the conversion using python is actually in tandem with what the conversion that um let's say the coordinates of those particular points as um, extracted on what on um, google Earth. so we have two eight nine five seven four we have um two eight nine five seven four and then the nothings is actually long so we have one three one zero two six nine so we have them um, one three one zero two six nine so this now validates our result that the conversion we have carried out using this same um, simple program is actually correct so we have been able to use python to what to convert coordinates from geographic what to projected so thanks for coming to class um, if you have any question you can always um, reach out via the comment section or you can contact us directly and then if this video is actually interesting to you you can support us by subscribing maybe sharing with your friends and colleagues we are going to see you on the next tutorial until then keep staying safe and have a fantastic time bye